Hello, Team Moses. I just want to give a quick testimony. Back in 2013, I left home. I left and separated from my husband in January 2013 for uh, some infidelity um, issues um, that he had going on. Actually, um, I found out about, well, make a long story short, one of the women, um, her daughter and my niece, which I took in, my niece, in December 2013, so it was after I left home. Uh, her daughter and my niece ended up being at the same school. They were same di same district, same school zone. So they become the best of friends. And little did I know, I, I did not know her daughter, did not know uh, much about her at all. And um, one day my niece asked, could we pick her up for church? So um, she just said a friend and I said, sure. We pull up and lo and behold, it's this lady. And I only knew her from seeing her picture on social media. Um, of course, after getting her name out of his phone. <laughs> but anyway, um, it hurt me to see her. I was devastated. Um, when she walked out to the car, um, she asked, uh, well, she was, you know, kind of introducing herself. And I said, uh, she said, I don't think we've met. And I said, well, you're so-and-so. And I'm Coretta. And so nice to meet you. And I was really trying to be polite in front of the kids. Uh, they had no idea about what went on. And um, anywho, we went on the church and I let the kids out. I usually didn't do that, but I let them out at the door and I told them I would park. And I broke down, called him to tell him what had happened, what had taken place. Because in the, at that time, we were trying to reconcile. So, anyway, to move on. My niece was in ninth grade and her daughter is like a year behind her no she had to be in 10th yeah in 10th grade and her uh because it was a year after that so it didn't happen right away so yeah my niece was in 10th grade and her daughter was in ninth grade at the same high school so anywho they started hanging out her daughter um started coming over but that day we went to church she had told her daughter that she couldn't go with us anymore and so therefore I stopped and I had to call her because I want everybody to come to know God and be saved regardless of how I felt about the situation God wants everyone to be saved so I have to do what he wants and be obedient to him and of course I want everybody to be saved I'm fighting to stay saved and you know do his will so anywho, I let her know that her daughter, I called her and I, I told her, you know, what happened, happened a while back and I'm, you know, I'm okay. Her daughter can ride with me to church whenever she feels like it, so on and so forth. So we had a good conversation, didn't bring up what had happened, uh, you know, didn't speak on it uh, or go into detail. I just told her I'm past it or whatever. But anywho, senior... It was about to be my niece's senior year, um, and I was at the school during um, during the registration time again, and she was there. And so, of course, the kids would meet up every time, and I would end up being kind of hanging out with her because every line they go through, they wanted to do it together. So, anyway, this time, God had been like just on me so heavy to like apologize to her because we had some words when I found out she was seeing my husband at the time so we had some words and I felt like <laughs> she was disrespectful so I was being disrespectful to her and I will tell you I was in my flesh when I found out about it because I, I couldn't control it I was angry so I said some things that I shouldn't have said to her um, you know, responding to some things she had said. Uh, she just kind of didn't have any remorse or, you know, anything like that. So, anyway, make a long story short, God had been on me to apologize to her. So, I did. But I didn't want to at the time that I did it. I will say that. But God kept telling me I needed to apologize to her. So, I looked at her as we were sitting there waiting on the kids and I told her. And at this time, she had a new baby by someone she was currently with at the time. 
and um, I looked at her and I told her I said it's something that I need to say to you um, and I told her I said I know that we said some things that were kind of hurtful you know so on and so forth I can't remember word for word what I said but I told her my point is I want to apologize to her and I did I said I'm very sorry about some of the things I said to you uh, that were hurtful and about being angry I said I'm over that and I just no want you to know that uh, we are good you know we are good and I apologize if I hurt you and so she said oh okay well thank you you know kind of like that and then she um, I got mad like I instantly at God not her I was like oh my god you made me like a you know I just was like you made me look like a fool pretty much I was feeling bad for apologizing then instantly she it was maybe three to four seconds time for me to just think that thought and she looked at me and said I apologize too so I felt like a release God you know just kind of took that thing off me but I thank God for that because that forgiveness you know I was walking around saying that I was over that but I really wasn't I really wasn't over it I really haven't hadn't forgiven them at the time and so anyway with that being said her daughter spent the nights with my niece my niece is a freshman in college now so um, she, you know everything just kind of went as it should have you know and so in saying this my testimony is forgiveness is not only for the other person and I'm sure y'all have heard that forgiveness is for you too and you have to forgive people God forgives us each and every day all day long 365 days I can you know I can't even imagine what my life would be like if he was not a forgiving God so we have to forgive we have to love people we have to let go of things that have hurt us we have to give you know just give it over to God and I'm gonna tell y'all many of you are probably gone through that where your your uh, spouse is being um, unfaithful but I tell you what in each situation that I've gone through I always learn something and it's sometimes to get stuff out of you is to get you to a certain place that you need to be God is trying to get you to to be able to you know go through things so you can tell the next person how to get through it how God brought, brought you through it how you can make it but I tell you what <laughs> when I say God is so good and so faithful and so forgiving and so loving and he's calling all of us to be just like him to be pleasing in his sight so this testimony is very very pow a powerful time in my life something very powerful that God get, you know did in me and through me and also, um, I lost my thought. Also, I wanted you guys to know, I was so angry at these women, but more angry at her because she had, you know, she just said what she wanted to say to me. She talked to me as if I was seeing her husband. But anyway, I said all that to say, God got me into a place, I mean, of... Oh my God, he gave me so much peace in that situation and so much joy and he allowed me to see what I had learned and what I had, you know, was able to overcome. But I praise God and I thank God and I just pray that people who have hurt you, let it go. People who have done you wrong, forgive them, forgive them and love them. And I saw this young lady a few weeks ago at the gas station and I just go out of my way to speak to her and I go out of my way to show her love. And, you know, I want her to be saved. I do. I just pray that this is a blessing to someone because the the tears that we shed, the the heartbreak that we feel, God knows. God knows and he wants us to totally surrender to him totally be obedient to him be forgiving and love one another thank you guys for listening thank you for watching God bless prophetess Kimberly and Apostle Tron and their ministry 
I thank you guys and I love you. And I pray that this helps someone. In Jesus' name.